Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and this time we're going to turn this image into Game Boy graphics and we're gonna go really detailed because we're actually gonna add some dust and scratches and make the pixels imperfect and stuff like that. You can do this to any image. There's another tutorial that I made and you can find it in the description below and how to do this with video. But I had a request like on how to do it in Photoshop. So here we are. So this is a simple image that I found on Google and we're going to turn this into Game Boy graphics. So first we'll start by making sure this is not a smart object. I'm gonna right click that and it's gonna say a rasterize layer. And the second thing, we're gonna make this black and white. So we're gonna go image, adjustment, U and saturation. And we're gonna turn down the saturation all the way down. You can also press Control U or Command U. So I'm gonna make the black more black and the white more white. I'm going to go to adjustments, levels or Control or Command L. And I'm going to push all these arrows together just until I'm happy. So I'm seeing enough contrast. I want to make sure that the white part becomes like super white and then the black part becomes completely black. Just push them together until you're happy. You can tweak around a little bit. I think this is good. So press OK. Now the Game Boy only had four colors. So I'm going to turn these into exactly four shades of gray. Let's go to image adjustments and then posterize and it will automatically say four if i increase this number it will get more colors if i decrease this number it will go well to two colors black and white but the game boy had exactly four so press ok and if i zoom in now you can see there's only exactly four colors the gray the dark gray the black and the white perfect now i'm going to downscale this i'm going to go to image image size and i want to get it exactly to Let's put it on pixels, exactly 160 by 144 pixels, because that's exactly the game by resolution. Make sure resample is on nearest neighbor. If you put it on anything else, it will get blurry. We want hard edges. So press OK and zoom in a little bit. And you can see that it's already starting to look like Game Boy pixel art. I think the colors are right from black to white. That's good. And then there's indeed exactly only four colors. So that's perfect. Now that we got this, we want to have that effect, which actually a little noisy, a little, little pixely, a little grit in between the pixels, just like it's on a Game Boy screen. So in this case, let's scale it up again. So let's go image, image size. And you can do anything, but I'm gonna do a multitude of 10 because that's a lot easier later on in the progress. So make sure it's either like times four, times 10, times six. So exactly 10, that's really easy. I'm gonna keep nearest neighbor on again. So all the edges are really sharp. And now every pixel is exactly 10 pixels. Let's first start by making this actually green, shades of green. I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna pick a nice green. Let's go somewhere over there, maybe a little darker. I'm gonna press Alt Backspace or Option Backspace. If I do that, I fill the screen up with green. Let's go to Blend Modes and then put it on Multiply. This already looks even more like Game Boy graphics. But it's way too crisp. And maybe you want to just stop here. Maybe you want those crisp pixels, but I wanted to make sure that it's actually on a Game Boy screen. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the actual pixel grid because right now this is a little too perfect. That's not how the Game Boy worked. Uh, it kind of look like this close up and I kind of want that really that really noisy pixel effect. I want the lines to go in between but not on the lightest parts because the pixels are off and when the pixels are on they become black. You see little lines. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So this is way too perfect. So let's start by zooming all the way in. I want to make sure my view show pixel grid is on. It's a lot easier to see. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to select my pencil tool. It's right there. Not the brush tool. If it's on the brush tool press and hold it and then select the pencil tool. I'm going to select this green. I got a pixel right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go all the way around. So I got like a little square with green. It's hard to see. Let me turn this off real quick. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool and select it. Then I'm going to edit, define pattern. And I'm going to call this pixel grid 10 pixels. Okay. Now I don't need this anymore. Then create a new layer. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going to happen. Edit, fill, and where it says foreground color, I'm going to select pattern. And right now it's kind of like a leafy thing. I click that arrow, select my bottom image and press OK. Now, as you can see, all the squares are filled in white and I want to see through them. So I'm going to grab my magic wand tool and well, I can select all of these pixels manually. That's going to take forever. So I'm going to turn off contagious right there. And I'm going to click one color, make sure the tolerance is on zero. And I'm just going to press delete. 
If you zoom out now, kind of turn the green layer back on. You can see there's like a little space because we made this little grid. But that still doesn't look like Game Boy graphics because it's way too perfect. And one of the things we can easily do with it, I can right click it and then turn it into a smart object. So if I turn it into a smart object, I can add effects to it. For example, I wanted to give it like a little blur, filter blur, Gaussian blur. Not too much, that's way too much. Let's do one pixel. It already looks pretty good, okay. And then maybe add some noise with filter noise, add noise. That's way too much, obviously. Yeah, it's a little, little speckle all the way down. 5% is fine, but this still looks way too good. The pixels are too perfect. So what I want to do is I want to have like a little displacement on them. You can see it right here in my original. So everything is displaced just like a little bit. And we can do that with a displacement map. And this part is a little bit complex. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to fill that in with one color. Let's do white. Alt backspace to fill it in with one color or option backspace. Then I'm going to go to file, noise, add noise. Crank it all the way up, maximum. Keep monochromatic on and then press OK. So this noise is a little too noisy, so we're gonna blur that out a little bit. File, blur, let's say Gaussian blur. I think one pixel is fine. So this would be perfect. Now I need to save this image as a new file, as a new Photoshop file. So let's do right click, duplicate layer. And on this screen, let's call it noise. And then select a new document. There we go, new document, press okay. So right here is a new document. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this noise. It needs to be a separate PSD file for this to work. So let's forget it. You can even turn this off. Now let's first put this on the pixel grid. Let's go to filter, distort, displace. And right here, I don't want it to like go over the top. So I think like a two pixel displace is well enough. I'm gonna press okay. And it will say like, okay, cool. What Photoshop file do you want this to be displaced with? And that's why it needs to be a Photoshop file. So let's select a newly created noise. There we go. So a little, a little distortion. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Maybe one pixel would have been enough. So let's double click the word displace on the smart filters. Let's do one instead. Press OK. We gotta select the noise again. And that's a little distortion. And let's do that to the cat as well. Filter, distort, displace. Let's try two pixels first. Let's press noise. Something like that. That looks a lot more like Game Boy pixels zoomed in. Not too perfect. Looks good to me. The only thing we're missing is some dust and scratches. I can do two things. I can go to Google and grab some dust and scratches like from the screen and, and a little dust on there. I can also make a new layer. And if you have Photoshop beta installed, you can simply select everything on a new layer, click generator fill and say dust scratches. And it'll try and generate something for you. Let's try that real quick. So if I'm too lazy to find it on Google or want something completely AI generated. There we go, it looks pretty good. Let's, that one's not good, that one's not good. That first one is pretty good, so let's grab this one. I'm gonna change the levels of these quite a bit and then move it a little bit to this side, maybe a little more, something like that, and then put that on multiply. So now you got like little dust and scratches on the screen, so it's not perfect anymore. See, that looks a lot more like a 30 plus year old Game Boy screen. And that's all. If you want to know how to do this on video, there's also a link in the description to show you how to do it in After Effects. So feel free to let me know in the comments what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.